Welcome back to Apple Tree Allotment. Down here early on Sunday morning, it's about 10 to 7 in the morning. Um, just as the uh, kids are getting up, I come down while it's still quite cool. Um, it's supposed to get to, I think, 34 degrees Celsius today, um, same as, as yesterday. Um, it's only about 17 at the moment, so it's a uh, quite pleasant down here um, so I thought I'd come down do a couple of little jobs and uh, do some watering um, everything's looking pretty good uh, beans we planted two weeks ago I think three are doing really well lots of them starting to climb up the the canes most of the canes have got got something on um, two Two at each end haven't, but that's okay. Looking good. I might replant a couple more in those spaces another day. They're all looking really good. And the uh, the peas, I think, did we plant these about a week ago? There's one starting to come up at this end. A little tiny shoot there. I don't know if these are getting nibbled at all. There's another one further along there, I can see. So they're starting to come up. Um, I haven't been watering this end where I just did a load of peas quite as much um, just using what water I've got um, but hopefully they'll come up up there as well um, potatoes are all mostly died back now some of the main crop are still still got some green um, I'm going to start taking the tops off most of them now and uh, anything that's died away and just leave them in the ground until Till we want the space. Um, spinach is doing really well over here. There's uh, some nice growth on that. On yeah, on all the all the rows, got some good growth. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed we get some good crop from that. And the rabbits leave it alone. Um, leeks are looking really good. I'm gonna start harvesting a couple of the bigger ones out of here now um, some really good sized leeks in here so uh, yeah hopefully we can start using some of them thin them out a little bit more and let them let them grow away today um, I was looking at the chard chard is doing nicely it's a nice big plants in here so what I'm going to do is empty out this uh, main crop bed so one to the left of it and empty that out and uh, move across probably might do nine yeah nine plants I'll move nine of the strong plants across to this bed give them a chance to get some space and to grow um, and then we will have those two beds growing away over winter. Uh, might as well use the space while we've got it and we can we can pick the leaves into autumn. And keep us going. Um, over on plot one, all the uh, pumpkins are doing really well, vining nicely and going, getting further and further out into the, the paths and everything now. Quite a few fruit on them. They're all, all looking really good. Um, coping well with the, the heat. Over here, the patty pans are doing, doing really well actually. We've got um, all these plants are, are doing okay in this, this weather. Um, got some nice, nice fruit here. Probably, I don't know if I start picking these soon. Quite a decent size. this one um, and over here these ones are a bit bigger so yeah they're doing well some little baby ones on this this plant this one's a I think this is a green patty pan so some little little ones around the back I can see there so yeah hopefully we'll get a good crop of those 
over here I did notice some um, the mystery plant was a yellow courgette there's a few little courgettes growing on there so uh, hopefully that'll keep keep growing nicely in time to get us some some courgettes off that, that would be good um, beetroot slowly appearing seems to be quite slow but uh, it's doing okay it's a few little little tiny sprouts coming up there I can see a few along there coming up so uh, yeah hopefully we get get some beetroot soon um, and then the bed at the back got all of our sweet corn doing pretty well there's only that one at the front one cob at the front I've seen that's been sort of nibbled um, it's pretty much eaten the whole thing but it seems to have left the left rest alone um, I've noticed everyone else on the plot on the uh, site has started to protect their sweet corn put fences around them so uh, I'm guessing they've had trouble too but uh, yeah corn sweet corn's doing well and we've got some nice pumpkins growing on on these two plants so job for today so I'll get those potatoes harvested first um, see what comes out of there we were looking we still got a big box full at home um, we're working our way through but we did want a few more of the sort of larger jacket potato ones um, so I'm gonna clear this bed out so I can use it and if there's no big ones in there I might get some more out of the um, second earlies I did notice I had a little berry in there the other day and I noticed there were some good ones in one of the other beds so I might just uh, get a few of those out um, but yeah we've got still got tons of uh, sort of smaller potatoes that are good for chips and boiling and all, all that sort of stuff um, so yeah I'll get go and get a uh, bag and start emptying this bed out I've just pulled all the tops off and put them in the compost bin got a nice full compost bin at the moment I managed to get some um, quite a lot of manure the other day horse manure um, as we were passing the farm so uh, the bin's nice and full which is good for the next year so loads of potatoes coming out on the top I'm just gonna go through and uh, pick up everything I can see and uh, have, a, have a little dig around and see what we get I've got the bed emptied out of potatoes um, not a bad harvest it's probably yeah just over half of this big bag um, some reasonably good potatoes in there there's a few big ones in there most of them are sort of smaller sort of size but still good usable size um, they are King Edwards main crop King Edwards so I think, I mean, they were just, the bed was so dry. I haven't been watering these beds, the potatoes much because I've been doing everything else as much as I can. Um, yeah, so I think they've struggled with that. They certainly haven't had as much foliage as they've had in previous years. Um, but not a bad crop for one little bed. This is the smallest beds we've got, these two. Um, so yeah. Not, not too bad. I'm going to give that bed a uh, a water, and then I'm going to in in the rows, and then I'm going to get some of the uh, chard out of the other bed, and we can transplant some of those. So I've just pulled out nine chard plants, um, a couple of big ones there, and some smaller ones. We'll see how they do in this bed that I've just harvested potatoes from still loads in the uh, the charred bed it's good to thin them out a little bit though give them a bit of space um, I'll need to do more thinning as it goes on I'll let them grow up a bit more and then I can uh, 
See if I can find anywhere else to put them. Just to not waste them over winter. We can always pull them up when we're ready to, to plant something. The transplanted plants are in. Went in quite nicely. And I've given them all water. So next up, I just remembered I need to uh, put a fence around them so they don't get eaten. So I'm gonna go and see if I can find some um, fencing. Luckily this bed's already got some um, posts around it at each end. So uh, I can just wrap it around that and uh, cable tie it on. So there's our charred fortress. Hopefully the uh, plants will get a chance to grow nicely in there. They seem to have been left alone in the other side, so uh, hopefully they'll be okay. So next up, I'm just going to dig up um, some of the potatoes in this second early bed over here. Um, the next one along. Um, I don't think I'll do the whole bed, I might do half it or something. Um, just so I can get some bigger potatoes to use as uh, jacket potatoes. Um, I know I started to dig in this one a little bit and there were some good ones in there. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. I'll just do the first row and see what, see how they look. Um, and then it's on to watering. I've just cleared up this second early bed. I've just left the, the one green plant in there. I pulled the tops off the rest and they're all died off. And I've just harvested the first row, so about three plants along the front here. Um, and there's some better, better potatoes in here. There's some good, decent, big sort of hand size potatoes in here. So there's quite a few decent ones from that bed. Um, so hopefully there'll be some more in there. Um, but we'll take those home and use those this week. And uh, I can always harvest some more. It's, um, I'm sure they'll store well in these beds anyway because it's so so dry in there. Um, they'll be fine for quite a while um, rather than getting them out and uh, storing them. So that's all the little jobs today, I think. Um, I'll just have a wander around, check everything's okay. Um, and then I'm going to have a good, good water. Um, I've been bringing down water most days. Um, bringing down, I think it's about 50 litres, um, which still doesn't cover quite everything. It still doesn't cover the potatoes. Um, I have to be quite sparing with it, but uh, at least most stuff's getting a good a good soak and uh, it's still looking pretty good. I'm hoping this week, next week, we're supposed to have um, cooler temperatures, it's supposed to go down to 23 most days I think um, and supposedly a little bit of rain but I'm not sure we're gonna get much of that um, so I'll still need to water but at least it'll be a little bit cooler and uh, hopefully the plants will do okay in that so I hope you enjoyed having a little look how the plot's doing and seeing a bit of a harvest um, we've got so much of a sort of winter veg in here now really or autumn there's not, not lots of little bits coming off. We've got the salad crops at home, so we've got, got the um, tomatoes are just about turning red, sort of orangey red. Um, so it'll be another week or so maybe before they start kicking in. Um, salad stuffs, there's more than we can eat. Um, and uh, yeah, the sunflowers are going mad at home. They're all flowering now. Looking really good. So yeah, lot, lots of little bits of harvest, but lots further on in the autumn and spring. The leeks are ready to start picking a few out, I think. So uh, I might take a couple home. We can use them this week. And uh, yeah, looking forward to all the pumpkins. And uh, hopefully we'll get some of that squash coming up towards the end of the season. Yep, yeah, hope you're all well and uh, Getting some nice harvests from your plots and gardens and uh, look forward to talking to you next week. <laughs>